Do you want to learn how to stream on Twitch, but you only have the attention span of a goldfish? Well, lucky for you in today's video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know in 10 minutes or less. So if that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video and let's get into it. We need two things in order to get us started. The first thing is we need a free twitch.tv account. So I'm going to leave everything you need linked in the description down below, but head over to Twitch, sign up for a free Twitch account, and then we're going to move on to step two. Step two, we're going to need what's called a broadcasting software. So we'll be using OBS studio today and basically this is what's going to allow us to stream to twitch and be able to control all of our audio and all of the things that appear over our screen so that way we can control and design everything that we broadcast to our viewers including our game our mic our audio all that fun stuff so whatever system you have download the appropriate one i got windows so we're going to download windows then just run through the installation process you can literally just hit next on everything and leave everything on default and then we'll be good to go once you open up obs studio it should look a little something like this this right here is what's going to to be our stream preview so we're going to be designing everything here bottom left are called scenes so that's going to be our brb scene our starting soon just chatting our gameplay and all that fun stuff sources are going to be all the little puzzle pieces we put on there so that's going to be our webcam our game capture other designs that we want to put on there our overlays and then the audio mixers we're going to be our game audio and our mic audio and all the audio sources the next thing we want to do is go to the top of obs studio we're going to click on tools and then we're going to click on auto configuration wizard and then we're going to say optimize for streaming recording is secondary so then we're going to hit next and then we're going to choose our base canvas resolution so i'm streaming on a 1080p monitor so we're going to use 1080p for this one right here and then we're going to change fps to either 60 or 30 but prefer 60 when possible then hit next again next we're going to choose twitch as our service in here and we're going to connect our twitch account so that way we can actually stream to twitch and then we're going to check these two boxes right here and then we're going to hit next it's going to test our bandwidth so that way it tests our our internet and sees what settings we're going to use automatically in order to get a smooth stream based off our computer specs and our internet speed. So after OBS test, these are the recommended settings that it's going to recommend for us based off of all of the things I mentioned earlier. So all we have to do is hit apply settings. But if for whatever reason, when you actually stream later and your stream is all buffery and choppy, then I'm going to leave a video in the top right corner, which does a deep dive into the settings specifically for you guys. So if you're running into any problems, go watch that video after this video. For most of you guys, this should be at least a good starting point. So we're going to hit apply settings and we're good to go. Not too much of a headache there. Next, we want to go into the actual settings in the bottom right corner. So click on that. Then we're going to go to the audio tab and we're going to find our desktop audio. So we're going to click on that and we're going to click on wherever our audio is coming out of. So I know that mine's coming out of my Yamaha ZG-01 speakers. So I'm going to click on that. And that way, whatever audio comes through our computer is going to be sent to our stream. So that way our viewers can actually hear it. Same thing for our mic slash auxiliary audio. We're going to click on that and we're going to pick whichever microphone we have plugged into our computer. So I'm going to click on the Rode PodMic USB. By the way, I have all this stuff linked in the description down below for all of my setups. So you can check the Amazon links there. And that's all we really need to do here. So we're going to hit apply. Okay. And now you'll notice that whenever I talk, my microphone's getting picked up. And when we have our game and other computer audio running, this will also be picked up in the desktop audio. So now that we got all the boring stuff out of the way, now it's time to get fun. We get to design our stream, add the cool overlays and all that fun stuff. And my favorite solution for this is using own pro because one, it's free to get started and two, you can get a full overlay alerts and everything you possibly need for your stream ready in literal seconds. So let's check it out. I'll leave this linked in the description down below so you guys can easily access it. And they were nice enough to sponsor today's video. So thank you guys. But the first thing we want to do is click on join for free. Then you'll notice that this is compatible with both Twitch and YouTube. So if you decide to multi-stream later, this is your perfect solution right here because it keeps everything all in nice one convenient place. But we're going to simply log in with our Twitch account. Then we're going to click on authorize. But we get to choose from one of three free design. So I'm going to click on chroma. Next, we can choose a color scheme if we click this little show more button. So pick whichever one floats your boat. And you can also choose what language you're in. So I'm in English. Hit install now. Now we can enter up to three social media channels and they'll be automatically entered into all of our scenes. And if you want to add them, you can. But if you don't have any social media, that's totally fine. You can simply hit skip. I'm going to add my Instagram, which you guys didn't know I'm on Instagram. So go follow me over there and we can be friends. So add your socials or don't. It's up to you. Then we're going to click on the next button. Everything we need is being generated for us right now. So that's really convenient. Once we're done with that, we are simply going to follow these easy instructions, which is going to allow us to import all of this into OBS studio, which is going to save us literal hours of time. So what we want to do is first download the setup file. So we're going to click on this download button. It's going to pop up our downloads folder. Just click on save. Once we're in OBS studio, we're going to go to the very top where it says scene collection, and then we're going to navigate to import. We're going to click on these three dots right here. So click on that. And then 
we're going to open that JSON file that we just downloaded, hit the import button. And if we go back up to the scene collection tab, you'll now see that we have our new option here. So we're gonna simply hit on whatever one you installed. And now if we look in the bottom left corner, you can see all of our scenes. You see we got a starting soon screen, we got an ending scene, we got a BRB scene, we got our gameplay overlay, and then we got our talking overlay. Now you might notice that we don't have data because this is a brand new Twitch account, but these will fill out with whatever data you have. So we're gonna finish this up by hitting the next button. We can download our transition. So we're gonna download that file. I'm gonna leave it as transition, hit save. We're gonna find the little scene transitions panel down here, and we're gonna click on that little plus button. We're gonna choose the stinger option to import our own file. I'm gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna find that video file that we just downloaded. So we're gonna hit the browse button, transition one. We're gonna hit open. And then now we need to change the transition point to 900 milliseconds. And after we do that, it's pretty much it. So we're gonna simply hit okay. And then now anytime we switch scenes by clicking on a new scene, it's gonna play that cool transition like that instead of just automatically cutting. But let's go back to Own Pro. Now we can hit the done button and hundreds of steps all finished in seconds for you, just like me in the bedroom. So we're gonna hit the go to dashboard button. And a very brief overview of all the cool stuff you can do on Own Pro is if you look on the left hand side, they got a scene builder, which you can go and basically have an entire installation of these overlay packages at a couple clicks, just like we did earlier. As you can see, they have hundreds, and I mean hundreds of different overlay packages that you can easily switch between if you upgrade to the Pro plan. So if you guys want to do that, I'll leave a link in the description down below and you can save 50% off using coupon code CPAUSE. But you can also go to the My Scenes tab as well to edit any of your overlays that we worked on, including the one we just set up and we didn't want the subscriber. We can simply hit the eyeball on the subscriber and cheer. In case you're not an affiliate yet and you just want to rock the donation and follower, then just hit save on the top and you can make all these cool changes to your overlays literally within seconds. You can also add widgets, you can add a countdown timer, GIFs, images, text, and even add graphics like different webcam styles, alert icons, and all that sort of stuff. Then we can also see that we have overlays, obviously. We have an event list that you can display. You can also edit your alerts under the alerts option here. You can also set up the chatbot for both Twitch and YouTube for all my multi-streamers out there. You can mess with the moderation settings, including commands, timers, and giveaways, as well as some other stuff like setting up a donation page, as well as goal bars. And they have an entire music library for copyright free music on their premium plan. So you can feel free to check it out. Once again, I got the link in the description down below for you guys. Well, let's head over back to OBS. So now we need to squeeze all this in before the 10 minute mark. So what we need to do is one, double check our settings in the bottom right, go to audio, make sure that your desktop audio and mic audio are still on the ones you had selected before, because sometimes when you import a scene collection, it will mess that up. So just make sure that that's good. Number two is we're gonna go and do overlay number one. We're So we're gonna add our game capture. I have golf with your friends booted up. We're gonna add a new source. We're gonna do game capture. If that doesn't work, use display capture or window capture. It'll capture any full screen application. Or if you wanna do specific window, we can do specific window and then pick on golf with your friends. Drop the game capture in between the foreground in the browser looks good. Now we need to add a webcam if you want. Otherwise, just skip this part. We're going to add a new one. It's going to be video capture device. We're going to call it webcam. And then I'm going to pick my crappy integrated camera because I'm using the other two for the video. Hit OK. I'm going to drag the corner to resize it, put it on the screen. And there we go. That's our first one. Now let's go to the other one. So we're going to click on the talking scene. We're going to basically do the same thing. So what we want to do is number one, add our webcam. So video capture device. We're going to add existing because we already added it. Hit OK. We're going to drag that over here into the bottom left corner if I can quickly do that. There we go. And then we're going to drag it in between. Now we're going to add a new one. It's going to be the game capture. Once again, add existing game capture. Okay. I know this is fast. You can slow it down if you want. We're going to go and put it right over here. We're trying to make that 10 minute time zone right about there. That looks good. Squeeze that bad boy in between just like that. And that looks good to me. If you want your Twitch chat in OBS, go to docs at the top, hit chat. And then you can also hit stream information as well. Put You can just put those on the side here. You can feel free to grab the top of these little windows and pop them in. This way you have your chat room. So you can feel free to send messages and as you can see they're appearing on the screen there that way you can chat to them and if you want to change your title go live notification category you can also do that from this little thing here just make sure to hit done when you're done but then when you're ready to start streaming simply hit this little start streaming button like so so i'm going to hit start streaming it's going to prepare it's going to connect and now it says that we are streaming so let's go ahead and check it and confirm it over on twitch so now we're over on the twitch page give it a second now it says we're live we can also refresh i'm going to press f5 to refresh on google chrome so give that a second and bada boom bada bing there we go and then when you're ready to end your stream, go back to OBS and then hit stop streaming. But there is literally so much cool stuff to learn about streaming. And this video is just the tip of the iceberg, super short, compact and breezes just the basics. And that's why you got to watch this playlist to the side of me. I have crafted it for you guys to take you from absolute beginner to pro. It's going to be way more in depth and teach you everything that you need to know about streaming. I also have a course in the description down below, which you can check out as well. But my name's Cody and I will see you in the next one.